but I wanted to do a walkthrough of my new travel setup because I'm genuinely super excited about it. And I wanted to show you how this whole system is working because there's some fun stuff going on. Okay, so we are here in the green room of the studio where I'm shooting this week, where I'm the on-camera talent, showing off these lovely bags, in fact. Uh, this is where I do my makeup. Um, it's where I do my makeup, I get my makeup done. But I wanted to do a walkthrough of my new travel setup because I'm genuinely super excited about it. And I wanted to show you how this whole system is working because there's some fun stuff going on. At some point, I'm gonna do a probably a whole like review walkthrough of the features of all these bags. Uh, there's a larger one than this one as well, the Explore 60. But today I just want to show you how I'm using the Shimoda roller bag and the Explore 40, uh, especially on traveling when I want to travel pretty light for me and uh, just go places and have my vlogging filmmaking kit with me and also some clothes. So I want to show you what's going on here and why I'm so excited. Okay, so this roller here is actually what I am really excited about. And that's because when I'm traveling around the airport and going to new places, this is where all the camera gear lives. So I put my laptop on top, and this is basically all of my camera equipment that I'm taking out shooting with me. This is where the GH5 goes, which is right there filming right now. But what I love about this is that over in this backpack here is basically just my clothes. So as I'm moving through the airport, having all my heavy stuff, there's a big hard drive right here in this case. It allows me to keep the weight on my back super light and then the heavy stuff in a roller bag. And in this case, I was able to take two carry-ons. So both these items are carry-on size and I was able to take them both with me. Uh, but if I was forced to have one bag checked or and just have one carry-on, I could use this as my carry-on and keep all the expensive camera gear with me, making sure that it's safe, staying in good condition. Especially when I'm travel vlogging, it allows me to film stuff as I'm like running around the airport, which I think is pretty cool and also when I get there. And so the, the awesome part about this whole setup is in here's my clothes, in here's my camera gear. When I get to location, I get to take this insert with my clothes. This is my clothes right here. And I can take my whole camera gear setup and put it in here, which I'll do right now to show you. So I'm gonna slide this up. Take my camera gear out, put my camera gear in, and boom, just like that in five seconds, I've got my camera gear over into a backpack. And now when I'm just actually in the location that I'm gonna stay for a little bit, I'll just walk around the city with this bag and use this as kind of just my traveling around shooting bag and then close. So in here, this is just, this is called a skin, which is for the, the medium core unit, which I can, so I can just put all my clothes in there and we're done. And this then becomes my shooting bag. Like this is my whole camera kit. This is my travel pillow, so I don't really need to take that with me. Uh, but now I've got all my camera gear in my backpack, which is a little bit heavier than keeping it in the roller bag because I'm taking around all this gear. But when I actually get to the location, that's where I can use the bag for that. Okay, here we are, next day in the studio again. Yesterday we finished all the dialogue, so today it's mainly just getting all the B-roll shots of all the actual technical pieces and features of these bags. Something really good happened today. Batteries, batteries from Amazon, they came in. Amazon Prime, one day shipping, saving me again. I'm working with Jeff back there, What's up? Max over there, hey. Abby's there too. It's sweet, these guys know what they're doing. This isn't their first product video, so it's kind of got a pretty thorough system here of just systematically going through and just getting all these shots. And Ian over there is just critiquing everything that we do. Uh, Thanks Ian for being a good sport. <laughs> I mean, these videos that we're making right now, 
you could go watch because this video will be coming out by the time that uh, the product videos are done in the Kickstarter's live. So you could even go pledge and buy a bag and check out all the material and photos and all the hard work that's gone into everything that we're doing right now. You could go check that out. And it's pretty cool because, I mean, what started as Ian just sending me a link to an Instagram page asking me to check out the, the bags has now turned into me being able to play a bigger part in actually helping get that product to you guys, which is a lot of fun. I, because I, I mean, I love bags. <laughs> Okay, so I <laughs> thoroughly underestimated how tough it is on my body to stand on pavement for like 12 hours a day. I just, I don't know why I didn't expect it to be harder <laughs> than it has been on my body. Uh, but it's been good. It's fun, it's fun being involved. I, I love being able to help Ian out making this project happen. Especially just because I, I think it's a really cool bag. I think he's done a really great job and I just, if there's something I can do to help bring the whole thing to life, that, that just makes me excited. So it's been good here in New York. It's been a pretty crazy past 48 hours, maybe longer than that. What's 48 plus 24? 62 or something, 72? It's been a crazy 72 hours, is that how that works? At some point in the future, I'll probably be making like a full video on the bags so you can actually hear my thoughts and going over all the little details. But uh, yeah, that's definitely gonna be it for today. I'm just wiped. <laughs> Thanks for following along this fun, crazy journey. I'm looking forward to uh, in the next couple days being able to actually go out and be in Manhattan and kind of see some things. I gotta send some emails and whatnot and see if I can meet up with some people. So, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. And remember, life's better when you make stuff.